Before we get into this episode, I just have to say, I was going through some of the voice actors in Tokyo Avengers, and I had I knew I recognized Jirok and Ken from somewhere, and Pa, Pa-chan, uh, also. Pa-chan is Toto, so I had to rock my Toto hoodie, and Jirokin is Bond from Seven. I can hear it so much. I'm like, oh my lord, such a good show. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Tokyo Revengers episode 7. This one's called Revive, which I don't know how I'm feeling about that after last episode's title of Regret. Especially, I don't like how last episode ended. A lot of people are telling me the show is just going to get better and better and more amazing. And then I need to read the manga after that. And I'm like, I feel you guys, but I got to watch the show. I know I, maybe I'll do a manga reading. Maybe I'll, maybe season two will get announced. I have no, I just am really digging the show so far. The premise, characters, everything. I'm very excited to hop into it, find out what happens with Mobius and uh, Manji, the, the Toman gang. I'm very excited because it does not look good right now. We're surrounded by Mobius. And so, uh, I'm nervous. Let's hop into this. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description for you guys. You guys get full length, everything. If you guys want to support me and Patreon, it's not really your thing. If you guys could just leave a like on this video and a nice comment, it really does help me out. You guys have really no idea. Don't forget to follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok at Dapper Darius. We do have a PO box if you guys ever want to send me anything. All the info for everything is always in the description down below. Go check that out. Um, let's hop into this. Tokyo Revengers, Episode 7, Revive. Let's do this. Alright, here we go. Starting right back where we left off. Oh my god. All these guys, weapons, everything. <laughs> Middle school baby alliance. Right into it. Takamichi getting his ass. Okay. Okay. Takamichi's still up, too. You can't keep saying this with where we're at right now. Pa's literally about to square up. There's no way you're stopping this. Okay. Okay, Pa. I respect it. Fists ablaze. <sighs> I see where he's coming from. I, I understand, but I don't know. I can't even interject. I really don't know what he should do, what he could do. I, I really have no idea. I mean, that's me. I'm going to sit back and watch. I know Mo Ugh, I know Osanai does have two years on Paw, right? Because on average, they're two years older. All right, boxer. What the? Ooh, float like a butterfly. That could be a broken nose. Concussion. Mikey <laughs> Mikey has a smile on his face. I'm saying, like, this is like a friendly get-together. He's literally just getting his ass handed to him. No slides on or anything. I need to know what's going on in Mikey's head half the time. I really, this guy is so complicated. He's half so friendly, compassionate towards his people, half like what Takamichi was saying, cruel and torturous. Like, he is such an interesting, unique character. Well, Mikey versus uh, uh, Osanai, that's a different story. Mikey, we know, is fucking legendary. See? Right on his temple, too. Into the ground. Oh, my God. E? This is how Mikey usually shows his authority. He goes to your best, strongest, most authoritarian guy and beats his ass. Ooh. 
He's like glazed over. He got dead eyes right now. <laughs> okay, Mikey. I like it, but <laughs> I'm still a little nervous. I won't lie. I, I like it, though. No. This is no... Thank the Lord. I was genuinely concerned Ken was gonna die again. Get that bottle out of his hand. The true delinquent path. That's the biggest facts. The biggest piece of shit. We got the fucking popo coming. Twelve. It's fucking book it, boys. That's. Yeah, this is supposed to be according to somebody's plan that leads to internal con. Who's got the pocket knife? Who just pulled that out? Why, po? Why? What the? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you just elevated it to such a different level. So this is very much different from what happened in the past. Stuff is actively changing. I have no idea even what to think. I can't predict anything. No theories can come. This is like... Oh. Is Pa going to take the rap for this and like what? <laughs> I don't know. I need to know exactly what happened last time to know how this differs to know where this fucking came about cuz I'm like, I'm like, damn, like, I don't obviously Osanai is a piece of shit, but I want things to be resolved as peacefully in the show as possible. I don't want anyone to die. That was crazy. I know, I'm gonna just, oh, shit, you know. That makes sense. And we missed all this? This is literally what I was worried about. <laughs> Oh, she's crying, Hinata. Oh, my God, the timing. Like, even some levity, I can't fucking laugh at because I feel so this is just horrible. 2500 piece puzzles actually a fucking great achievement good shit what a worthless sense of accomplishment i must agree in this very pressing time my boys my boys i feel so good to see my boys again <laughs> nunchucks <laughs> you got a porn stash oh man i miss old high school irreparable it's <laughs> okay. See, that's. Uh, see, I'm so conflicted the whole time. My boy fucking Ken came to visit? Bro. Easily my favorite character in the show, I'm telling you. <laughs> yup. Hell yeah. <laughs> 
This, on a nice hot August day, this man brought a watermelon. This guy is the coolest dude ever. I swear, I swear to God. Okay. Okay, so. So it still could have gone exactly the way it did last time, basically. I thought Osanai died. Really? Can you give us a flashback from your point of view, Draken? That would be much appreciated. No? You don't have to leave. You can stay. Come on. Come on. Speak of the devil. Mikey is here. Did he also come to visit Takumi? What, what is this, like a child? You only have custodies on certain days? There's no way you guys are about to fight over this, right? I know. That's when I'd be up there like... Literally 30 seconds later, he'd be chilling. I know. That's my precious Hayate. They're just throwing every prize possession Takabichi has at each other as a weapon. How do, fishing pole skateboard with the tennis badminton? What the fuck is going? I feel I feel the worst for Takamichi right here. <laughs> He's going super. <laughs> Turn into like a JoJo Super Saiyan. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this show is too much, bro. I can't take it. So this episode for me easily the most divisive in terms of half funny half just me being sad and heartbroken because i'm with takamichi and i know the future and i know that shit hits the fan so like i am so on takamichi side where it's like let's intervene let's do what we can gotta stop but then it's really a, a testament to his power and his resolve because what is he supposed to do in that situation Osanai would beat the shit out of him. Pa would beat the shit out of him. Everybody, like, he has no... That's the thing. He has the he has power in terms of time travel, but he has no other power. Like, I need my man to start doing some stuff. Get a little push-ups in between each episode, you know? <sighs> but, and then I instantly think about Mikey and fucking Draken, and I don't want them to fight at all. I understand why they fight, and I'm more side Draken only reason I say that is because Mikey is one of the most complicated, hardest to read characters ever. Like I can't, I never know what's going on in this guy's head. And I feel like Ken, when it came to uh, Pa stabbing Osanai, you know, they were both upset that he did it, but Draken was more like pissed. Like, what are you doing? What have you done? Like, this is not supposed to be like this. Whereas Mikey just does not care says fuck it come on come with us anyway i respect pa for turning himself in immensely you know he's saying he's sorry he knows he made a mistake and he's not gonna drag anyone else down with him but it's just it's so complicated it's such a deep issue that i don't i don't know how to tackle it you know it's like right now i'm definitely on team draken but that's because i've seen multiple times that he is one of the most compassionate heartfelt delinquents out there you know even though he can get super dark and gritty when he needs to be it's just like i don't know man this is so this is so complicated this really is i'm um, just checking if i have any questions from the q a section on the discord i do not so other than that i think i'm about to hop in this next episode because i gotta know what happens note to self guys if you guys are gonna fight at your friend's house with somebody else it does happen i've gotten into you know scuffles at friend's house you know a little not like pure fist fights don't use your homies prized positions from ch from childhood as the weapons they're tossing badminton soccer balls fishing poles from skateboards bicycles like jesus christ <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like let me know your thoughts down below i appreciate you guys if you guys are not subscribed make sure to subscribe so you guys always know when i post click that bell as always drink some water be safe tell someone you love them i appreciate you guys immensely have a great day dapper squad peace out